Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a wash day routine where I'm showing you my process start to finish, super detailed, how I shampoo, condition, blow dry, and straighten my hair at the end. I will go into detail with all the products and tools that I use. I hope you enjoy the video, let's get started. So it's been 11 days since my last wash day and my hair is starting to feel like a bird nest. It's super crunchy, super thick, super frizzy, itchy. I still have these braids in my hair from when I did the two space buns. So I'm just gonna take these braids out do a quick detangle of them. I already pre-detangled my hair the night before. I am making sure to incorporate pre-detangling before I do go into shampoo from now on since I had that disastrous wash day where my hair matted and I had a lot of hair fall out. After I detangle, I'm going to go in with a quick scalp exfoliation where I simply use my rat tail comb that I use when I straighten my hair to gently massage the scalp, loosen up any flakes. And this is the time that I use to give myself a chance to examine how my scalp is feeling. My scalp treatment today is going to be head and shoulders. It's the tea tree one that I just got in my most recent Amazon haul it smells like traditional tea tree and it feels like the classic consistency of head and shoulders a super thick super rich and creamy i apply it only to the scalp and then i use a spray bottle with water and i spray the scalp and the roots and then start to massage the scalp just to help loosen up the shampoo and help it really work into my hair Doing a scalp treatment like this has saved my scalp. I have super sensitive scalp, prone to itchiness, prone to dryness, prone to dandruff, and head and shoulders has been a miracle. I only use it every one to two months, um, and it lasts after each use. I keep it in my hair for about five to 10 minutes before thoroughly rinsing it out. The combination of both exfoliating my scalp and doing a scalp treatment ensures my hair is super clean after shampooing. This is a hair catcher for your bathtub drain. Please get yourself one if you have long hair. Now it's time to shampoo my hair. My favorite part, I'm using my Tresme Keratin Smooth Shampoo. By far the best shampoo that I think I have ever used on my hair. I especially like to use it when I am doing a straight hairstyle. I'm rinsing all the head and shoulders out of my hair first using lukewarm water, making sure it's out thoroughly before I go in and apply the Tresme to my scalp. I'm applying the shampoo once again only to the scalp and roots and then working it into the hair. I have been doing a double cleanse for the past five years at least so I consider the head and shoulders as the first wash considering the fact that I did apply it thoroughly thickly and left it in for a long time and the Tresme is considered the second wash for me. Two washes, first to kind of loosen up the buildup and the second wash is to really get rid of the dandruff, the oil, the product buildup, any type of debris, leaving your hair super soft and clean. When I'm done rinsing my hair, I squeeze out the excess water and then apply my microfiber towel to my hair just to help soak up any residual water. I keep it in for about a minute before I take it off and then detangle my hair to start the conditioning. This conditioning step is by far the most critical. This is where you could go really wrong really fast. So I try to be very, very strategic at this point in time because your hair is wet it's been cleansed it's been stripped it is fragile tangled and can be easily prone to breakage especially from all the excess manipulation it is about to incur from detangling i use a combination of a wide tooth comb and my tangle teaser i always detangle my hair in these four section helps me keep everything neat and organized i hold the section of hair as i am combing and brushing so i'm not pulling the hair unnecessarily from the roots which can cause a lot of snapping i like to go in with the comb first and then the brush second and after i apply my conditioner for this wash day i am using a new conditioner i'm using the l'oreal paris ever pure sulfate free bond strengthening conditioner in my mind it's like a really good protein treatment i've been seeing people 
more frequently mentioning bonding and restructuring products for me i'm not going to be using anything overly expensive because my hair is so long and thick and i don't want to invest too fast but for my first impression of this i thought i noticed a difference after rinsing it out hair felt super strong super soft and not soft as an overly hydrated and mushy way that a lot of moisturizing masks and conditioners leave the hair this just felt strong but still very soft and flexible i applied the l'oreal from about an inch or so from the roots down to the ends and then i put my head and shoulders conditioner at the rest of my roots i personally like to use a head and shoulders conditioner every once in a while closer to the scalp just to make sure i'm getting a little bit of those extra pyrithion zinc ingredients to help treat any dandruff or sensitivity in place. I'm going to say this more often, do not neglect your edges and the nape of your head. Those hairs are often neglected, often dried out more quickly than the rest of your hair and also need conditioning. I let the conditioner sit in my hair for about 35 minutes and now it's time to rinse, rinsing my hair very thoroughly, once again using lukewarm water, never hot, and I personally just am not going to apply ice cold water to my hair and scalp. So I only leave my hair in my microfiber towel for about three minutes and this is what it looks like. I go straight into sectioning my hair because I'm going to begin the blow drying process. I blow dry my hair in a total of six sections, three on each side. I'm going to pin the first side up and out of the way and I work from the back going towards the front. The back section gets put into two just because the hair in the back is so thick. So another non-negotiable from now on for anyone who uses heat in their hair should be a heat protectant spray. I'm using a really affordable one. It's the Car Tresme Keratin Smooth one. I've used it before in the past and then applying my Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer afterwards, brushing it throughout my hair, making sure it's evenly distributed and then going in with my blow dryer. When I use this blow dryer, it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to blow dry my entire head. I always use the comb attachment that comes along with the hair dryer, helps to keep things really smooth and stretched out and detangled as I move along. I keep the dryer set to the highest heat temperature and the highest wind speed, and then I finish off with the cool shot before wrapping the section up and moving on. When I was finished blow drying my hair, I put my hair into two big braids, slept on it, and it's now the next morning. I took the braids out. I'm just going to lightly detangle my hair and then section my hair off again to begin straightening. I work from one side, then I go to the next, starting from the back, working to the front as usual. When I straighten my hair, I use the Chase method. This is my carbon fiber comb. It is Red by Kiss. I get it from my local beauty supply store. It is excellent. It does not melt. It's so strong. It was under $10 and I've had it for years. My hair straightener is the Babless Pro Nano Titanium in the one and a half inch size i've had this for almost 10 years now i think i've had it for a really long time it has straightened my hair so well each time i do two passes on the lengths of my hair and two to three at the roots i go really slow with each pass taking my time to avoid having to do multiple passes the Babilis has heat settings that go up in increments of 5, ranging from 5 to 50. I usually keep it on a temperature setting anywhere from 40 to 45. I rarely put it on the setting of 50. 45 can keep my hair really, really straight and sleek and the results seem to last. 
Now when it comes to heat protectant spray, I do not reapply heat protectant before going in with the straightener. I made sure to liberally apply the heat protectant spray before I blow dried my hair. I did anywhere from 40 to 50 sprays on each section before blow drying so I know my hair is thoroughly coated from the roots down to the ends and that should last from the time I applied it to when I am straightening my hair. Now if I was straightening my hair or doing a, another heated tool on my hair a couple days later then I would definitely reapply heat protectant spray but it's been less than 24 hours just for reference it is the beginning of september and for me it's the start of straight hair season and i am a straight hair natural i do like to take my breaks here and there but i am very happy to have the hair straightener back out again straightening my hair is one of the most pleasurable things that i do to my hair leave a comment it's below if you also enjoy when, when you get to are straightening your hair to straighten even though the process spanned over two days it took about four hours in total to shampoo condition detangle blow dry and straighten all of my hair my hair is getting so long it can barely fit in the frame of the camera if you made it to the end i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this updated wash day and straightening routine welcome to straight hair season and i will see you in the next video